Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm making this video on a fly. Basically this video, as you all would have known just by looking at the title, the harder you work, the more criticism you are going to get. And I thought I'll make this video real quick because I want to share what was going on right now in my life. So basically what I'm trying to do was like, I'm trying to promote my YouTube channel and it's not a secret because YouTube is not going to promote your channel if you don't have more subscribers. So I'm creating more videos and sharing those videos on Facebook groups as well as on the subreddits. So this is what happened. So one of the states in United States of America, I'm not going to mention the name, they banned me from sharing my content to their subreddit. I was like, what's the reason why am I banned? And they are like, read our rule number one. So basically it, show, it says like, if you are publishing the YouTube videos, it's a spam and uh, it's a self promotion. I was like, why? The thing is like, there's no way I can upload the video because it's going to be 2GB using my mobile phone on a Reddit. They are like, you can share someone else's YouTube link, but not your own YouTube link. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. So that's what I told them. And I said them, they said like, we are just following the rules. But you have to understand that the rules are not written in stone and they need to be adapted as the time goes on. Because this one happens to me all the time. And the only reason I'm talking about these guys is because that uh, they are pretty vocal. I mean, they are at least communicating with me about why, why it is happening and what's going on. And also they were communicating because I started communicating. So that's good. Then at the end I said like, frankly, I don't give a damn. Then again, that moderator said, gone with the wind. I was like, yeah, that's my favorite movie. And I just let it go. And then they contacted me again saying like, should we mark it as a spam instead of self-promotion because of your activity on the Reddit is appalling. I was like, dude, just because I posted so many things at once, it doesn't mean it's a spam. And also I'm sharing it to the correct Reddits. That's the reason my karma went up so fast within a month. I was able to get more than 1000 karma in no time. That's because other people are appreciating the content, what I'm posting. Because not everyone will, you know, stop me from posting it. There are people who love my content a lot and I can see it through the karma and through the comments they are writing and the awards I'm getting on Reddit. But just because like one or two people doesn't like it, it really doesn't mean anything. And you know, I could be really, I mean, I could have said like mean things to them, but I did not say anything. I just told them like, uh, you both look like a fun bunch to hang around. And now these moderators started becoming friendly and they were like, yeah, we would like each other's company and we live in a downtown of a particular city. Well, I'm not going to tell which city it is because you will know which state they are from. <laughs> so basically I told them I was about to visit that city and other city in that state this week, but life happened. And I'm definitely going to hit them up when I go there. So at the end, it looks like the only reason they thought it's a spam is because no one is posting the, that much stuff. Everyone is being mediocre and not posting anything or sharing someone else's stuff, which I will not. I'll share my own stuff, but I'm not going to share someone else's stuff. So basically, if you're a mediocre guy, and if you don't do much stuff and if you don't, if you're not that active, you will be under the radar and no one will really care about you. But if once you start improving yourself and providing value, not everyone will appreciate you. There are people who appreciate and there are people who don't appreciate. And uh, there were many Facebook groups. They were like, just ban me just because I'm posting my stuff. And the sad thing is like in those groups, only the admins post the stuff. I mean, what kind of groups are there if only admin is allowed to post stuff and uh, other 
members of the group are not allowed to post stuff there so what are they trying to do build a cult or something else it should be like a freedom of speech or freedom of here it's a freedom of creation or freedom of expression they want to allow everyone to post not only the admin posting the stuff in those facebook groups so i have come through these things a lot and uh, that's what i realized like uh, i know when Ga- now i realize what gary vanerchuk said like uh, i post on instagram 3 or 4 you know times a day i was like that's way too much but no it's not way too much if you have money or if you have strength to do it just do it or if you have that work ethic to be motivated and uh, keep pushing or promoting yourself do it because the world is not going to do for you and also if you are not born a millionaire or you are not born with a silver spoon in your mouth the world is already a hard place and you have to do whatever you have to do as hard as you can to come out of so basically you have to do as hard as you can or like whatever you can to come out of that situation basically just imagine like you are all if you are not born with a silver spoon you are already in a dungeon and no one is coming to help you no one your parents are not going to help you your friends are not going to help you and no one even care whether you are successful in life or not that's the that's the harsh truth and you have to do whatever you can to pull yourself out of that dungeon and crawl up and uh, enjoy this life it's it all depends on you so you have to do whatever you can and uh, that's the reality of it so basically do whatever you have to to come out of the dungeon and that's what i'm trying to do right now uh, i'm just trying to promote my youtube channel as much as i can because it gives me a creative expression it's a creative outlet for me and i'm happy doing it because most of many people are getting value uh because i can see through it especially through reddit when i saw posting on it even though some subreddits banned me but most of them did not and uh whoever are watching it they are having fun i'm getting lots of awards i mean i don't care about awards but it means those guys liked it so much that they are giving me awards and some of the people are really happy to see the content whatever i share whether it's going to be workouts or different places or some historical things so i will keep doing what i am and uh, i don't have to explain to anyone why it is not a spam or why it is not a self promotion or anything i don't have to explain anything but i did this one just to see how far i can take this one to see whether i can see the human side of me and uh, i saw it so basically just ignore and uh, triple your effort that's what i'm going to do now triple my effort this one inspired me to triple my effort and it also inspired me to make this video and i'm going to end this one with a quote which i already read from somewhere which says like basically it says something like this like uh, you are not going to be criticized by people who are doing more you are only be you will only be criticized by people who are not doing anything so with this said i think i'm going to end this video oh man i just saw it i thought it's going to be 2 minute video and it's almost like 9 minutes in a single take i'm just being authentic so <laughs> i'm happy to make such a long video which i did not think i will make so keep working hard keep hustling and don't let anyone's criticization criticizing stop you from doing whatever you want see you all in the next video take care bye